시행될 예정이다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hey you. It's Natalia and today I am bringing you guys along with me on my like Saturday morning Korean study routine. I think with the exception of the hair and makeup, this is going to be relatively accurate because one, I'm already late to meet my Korean study group. Two, I have an italki class in literally like 30 minutes and I have not studied the vocabulary or reviewed the vocabulary for it. So we'll see how smoothly that goes. Um, and we're going to have to study something later. I haven't really decided on what it'll be yet but it'll be something. So let's do that and review some vocab for my italki lesson. Oh my gosh, I'm so late. Hi friend. Oh, oh my god, god. Jay, you're here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, huh? so you look like a junak sing. <laughs> you look like a junak sing. I need to study some vocab because I have an italki lesson in like 17 minutes. Yeah, I, it was like, it was the teacher that I was working on that stocking report with. We were doing that stocking. Oh, yeah, my new speaking teacher. Kyungbom Chae. Ah, Nandong. Okay, so since we were in such a time crunch this morning, I don't remember how much I actually told you about what my italki teacher and I were going to be doing. So since that is relevant information for this video, I'm going to tell you uh, what we were doing now. Um, so this morning, which yes, I'm wearing a different shirt and that's because I spilled coffee on myself. Don't judge me. But this morning I met with my uh, speaking, my new-ish speaking teacher. And I say new-ish because as you guys know, I have been taking speaking specific Korean lessons since January of this year. And recently I actually had to switch teachers because the teacher I was working with, which she was so amazing, um, had to like cut down on how many like students she was teaching due to like personal reasons. And unfortunately, I was one of those students that got cut because I was uh, one of the newer students. But uh, anyway, I found this new teacher maybe like two months ago and she's really great and I really like her. And the first time I met with her, I told her that I really, really wanted to work on like 토론을 위한 말하기 그리고 그 모태학원에서 쓸수 있는 쓰기 or like 써야 되는 쓰기. That's probably better. So basically, I wanted to work on speaking for discussion purposes and writing for grad school. Those are the things I wanted to work on because as I've mentioned like for years, I really want to go to Korea and do my masters over there and do it like in a program that's taught in Korean. So I'm gonna need those skills to discuss principles and research and you know, actually write reports on them and like just writing in general. Because even though I'm relatively comfortable with like everyday Korean, when it comes to like academic career, I don't really get like the opportunity to speak in that way, like use those terms, those phrases, just top up, talk about those topics in general. So in order to improve both these skills, we thought it would be good for me to go online, find like articles in Korean that pique my interest. So whether I find them on Naver, Taum, some other Korean news outlet, and then, you know, read them, obviously define any words I don't know, uh, then write a report. And then I meet with her. We discuss the content of the article so I can get those 토론 skills. 
and then when it comes to the report she corrects it for me and then we go over it together so she'll tell me like oh like you should use this word instead or you made a grammar mistake here or whatever whatever which is what we were doing today So I just finished like a whole lesson from Korea Cyber University. I blinked. Ooh, also we're gonna change that light. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, sorry, I really hate yellow. Um, anyway, so I just finished a whole lesson from Korea Cyber University, which is like some kind of like affiliate Korean language learning company. Uh, like it's affiliated with Korea University. Sorry, I, I left that part out in my last sentence. But basically it's a website slash YouTube channel slash various other materials um, that you can use for free. But anyway, so I just finished the first one. It was like 36 minutes, which all the lessons are between like 30 minutes to 60 minutes, depending on the level and the lesson. And they have like lessons for like level one, two, three, and four, like topic levels. I think now I want to read some Harry Potter. So I got this copy because I know someone's gonna ask. I got this from my used bookstore here in the US. Um, so no, I don't really know where you can get a copy, but I recently started rereading it because when I first tried to read it It was like way too hard. There were way too many like adjectives for me to understand But now I can like go through it a lot faster just because like my Korean has improved from the last time I tried to read it so I think I'm just going to like reread the first few pages because there are so many words that I'm still not like familiar with. Also, I just kind of want to read it for fun because I've already spent time like, you know, like defining new words and like piecing together like what's going on because, you know, it's like more, the writing is just more artistic, I guess that's descriptive, artistic, descriptive. It's a book, you know what I mean? So it's like written in a way that I'm not really as familiar with. So anyway, that's what I am going to do now. So let's get started on Harry Potter. Kidarusoyo, <laughs> 
Okay guys, that is it. My brain is fried. Yes. Um, as I've mentioned in my recent videos, for the whole month of May, I'm collaborating with two of my best internet friends. Hey everyone, my name is Chloe, also known as Straw Blondie Studies. In this week's vlog, I'll be taking you through some of the different aspects of my Japanese language studies. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll see you there. Hey everyone, my name is Danai and I've been learning Chinese while working in London for around two and a half years now. And um, this week, lockdown has finally lifted enough, so I'm going to be going back to study in the library for the first time since literally last summer. So if you want to see a hermit emerging from its cave, a phoenix rising from the ashes, a chicken hatching, if you want to see my study routine in the library, then come over to my channel and I'll see you there. Bye! I'm sure you guys will enjoy their videos, so please go check them out. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Tell so, bye guys. Bye.